The team behind the scientific detective work that identified Richard III has been chosen to display their findings at a prestigious, prestigious exhibition. Well, scientists from Leicester University used the latest technology to confirm the remains found beneath the car park in the city were that of the king. The department has been chosen to display their work at the Royal Society's Summer Science Exhibition in London. Dr Turi King used DNA to identify King Richard, who was killed in battle 500 years ago. Well, she joined us and I asked her how significant this exhibition was. Oh, well, obviously, it's incredibly exciting. I mean, the Royal Society Summer Science Exhibition, perfect exhibition to talking to the public about bringing science to the public. So, yes, very, very exciting, very prestigious event. Now, for those of us who are unaware of the uh, Summer Science Exhibition, tell us a little bit about it and, and the sort of uh, people you will actually be able to reach. Well, it's a week-long exhibition that goes on at the Royal Society. Every year, uh, people apply to be able to have an exhibit there, and they choose a selection of those. And basically, what you do is you bring your science to the public. So the Richard III project has been fantastic. So obviously, it combines genetics with forensic science, archaeological science, osteology. Really great multidisciplinary project. Perfect opportunity to bring the science to the public. You get to speak to school children, general public, families. So we've got lots of sort of interactive events and things going on to explain the project to, to people who are interested in it. Well, talking of people being interested in it, this is the story, isn't it? That gives and gives King Richard III. What do you think is that appeal? Well, I think it's, I mean, it's just this amazing mystery story. I, I, it, it's a missing persons case, a historical missing persons case. Richard missing for over 500 years. The project goes ahead. It's been this really wonderful project that's involved the Richard III Society, the University, Leicester City Council, lots and lots of different groups all involved. Um, and it's just been really amazing. It's just solving this 500 year old mystery. Now, I know we've got uh, very warm temperatures expected this week. Um, tell me about the people who are actually going to be in costume because it may be a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> It will be. We have this lovely chap, Andy Hyam, who's a reenactor. He's come with his armor and um, replicas of medieval weapons so people can see the sort of weaponry that would have been used in that particular period. And poor chap, he's kind of in his armor for sort of 15 minutes at the time and then we have to get him out again so he doesn't get heat stroke because it's just supposed to be so hot over the next week. Uh, well, we certainly wish you all the best with the exhibition. And uh, just very briefly, what are your future plans then? Well, I'm currently working on the whole genome sequencing of Richard III, and I'm hoping to get that wrapped up by the end of the year. OK, well, Dr. Turi King, thank you very much and all the best for this exhibition. Thank you very much. And the genome sequencing, which we looked up because we just were... Of course, a I just knew bit, it, yes. actually. If Sam had What's to look that? it up. Yes, yeah. Well, I looked it up, yeah. And it's all about <laughs> his genetic makeup, basically, and whether he's predisposed to diseases and things like that. So, so far, they've been able to tell that he had blue eyes and fair hair. So quite oh, no, interesting. Already. And it's 500 years ago. 500 I mean, that is actually ago. incredible, yeah. isn't it? All yeah. joking aside.